Hello, in this video I wanted to show you how to easily make a sitemap for your website. Um, I recently just had to do this. I realized that I didn't have one and Google wasn't properly crawling and finding and indexing my website. So I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly, easily, and of course, like always, for free. So here's my sitemap XML file. I've already created this once. I'm just going to do it again. The first thing we need to do is head over to Google and we're going to type in xmlsitemaps.com. This website is awesome. Uh, it's easy. They do it for free. All you need to do is go here and then in step one we're going to type in our URL. So type in your web address here. I'll just use this one here. Change frequency. We can either set this to none always I'll just put monthly because I update my website monthly so you would choose the appropriate frequency for your website last modification we can use the servers response priority we can set it to none but I'm actually going to check automatic automatically calculate priority and we can just click on start that'll automatically create a sitemap for our website and we can see here that it's doing something it's loading time left looks like about 20 seconds and we'll just wait for this to finish okay great now that it's finished we can download the file by just clicking here that'll download the file there it is I'll drag it to my desktop and here we have some steps so the second step is to check that the sitemap is showing for you at and here's the uh, directory here's the link to the sitemap now the sitemap won't be on this website because I haven't uploaded it to my server so the first thing that we need to do is we need to upload this file here the sitemap to the root directory of our website now I do this by using an FTP client so here is FileZilla I'll include a download link to download FileZilla it's a great program uh, it's free and it's super easy to use so here's FileZilla I'll just go ahead and enter in my credentials to log into FileZilla I've already done that if you need your credentials what you'll need to do is go to your hosting provider my hosting provider is Bluehost so I would go to bluehost.com, I'll log in, and I'll go to my FTP server settings to get my login credentials for my website. You might have Yahoo, you might have GoDaddy, you could have anybody. So you'll need to get that information, those FTP login settings from your hosting provider. Once you get it, you'll put in the host, username, your password, you'll connect, and you'll see all of the files in your uh, back end for your website. So for me, I'll click on public HTML. Here's my sound icon missing folder. So here is my root uh, directory for this website. I'll take my sitemap. Notice how there's a, a two parentheses in my sitemap name. I'll want to make sure that that uh, gets removed so that it only says sitemap.xml. So I'll rename the file and I'll drag and drop that file into the root directory for my website. That'll upload. Now I'll go back to uh, sitemaps.com and you'll see here it says go to your Google Webmasters account and add your sitemap URL. So I'll click on that link. If you don't already have a Google Webmaster Tools, I highly recommend it. All you need is a Gmail account. Um, just go to google.com slash Gmail if you need to create a Gmail account, but you'll go to google.com slash webmasters, um, and you'll log in. I've already done that. You can see that I have my websites here. Now, here's my sound icon missing website. I'll just simply click on that website, and if it's not here already, if you need to add it, you would click on add a site. You'd enter in the URL of your website. It will show up in this list. I'll click on mine, 
and what I want to do is I want to click on crawl over here on the left and I'm going to click on sitemaps and I'm going to add slash test to sitemap and I'm going to enter in the URL to my sitemap so it would be this name here sitemap dot XML um, I'm going to click on submit a sitemap that'll submit the sitemap we can refresh the page and you can see that it has found the sitemap it's submitted web pages 15 submitted and it looks like it's processing right now so let's just see if we can test this test so we'll click on this button here test sitemap after we put in sitemap.xml test sitemap test complete view the results and it looks like no errors were found so that's really all you need to do to create a sitemap upload it to your server and add it to Google search engine so that they will properly crawl your website. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you. Um, I know everybody has a different website with a different hosting provider and a different method to upload and manage files on their server. So please feel free to ask any questions that you might have. Hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.